My name is Imtaham. My name is Bernard Ingsi. My name is Irmala. We want to tell a story called The Storm from Edward Bellamy. A novel about a doctor who developed a method to remove painful memories from people's brains so they can get good taste of life again. This story begins when a poor man named Henry fell in love with Madeline, a noble daughter in his village. The feelings of love for the two start when they kiss on the swing. But the love story of the two was not improved because Henry was only a poor man until finally Madeline was betrothed to another man who was on par with her family. Henry finally heard from the couple and decided to leave the village to find work. Henry also met a doctor named Dr. Hayden Hoff who can erase past painful memories so he can experience a better life. It begins with, with the words of characters. I doubt it, said Henry. Well, I must admit, said Madeline seriously, that I wouldn't care to forget anything I've done, not even my fault and voice. Yes, we are very lucky, replied Henry, his eyes following Madeline's movement as she stood before the glass, putting on her hat with which had a red feather on it, in it. Madeline, do you mean it, but a slap will have it, just at that instant will Tyler come running up, pursued by Laura, and threw himself up in Madeline's protection. They all remar remarked how fairly Madeline acted that evening. Madeline and her host to have a chance to escort the two bells of new fail at once at once. Good afternoon, Madeline. Madeline, Madeline Brand and Laura was playing with with knives, feeling about it. Henry went gaily to end from his work in a state of blissful ignorance. It seems to be the fair evening of the day one on which the conversation between Madeline and Cordis narrated in the last chapter had taken place. His love was quite unmixed with vanity, for Madeline had never given him any reason to think that she loved him. And therefore, the risk of an additional snap or to count it for nothing to deter him. So should he atone perhaps for the suffering Madeline had given him? Madeline was not willingly cruel. Henry had not referred to their marriage after the first interview. Henry that he did not sleep much nights. They gave up a brisk talk on these subjects till Henry left the car. Henry, see here, I want to ask you something. Okay, next story without giving further detail of this conversation with his trans master of life. It is sufficient to say that Henry finally agreed, given a report came in for Madeline on the following day, feeling something as if he were making an inhale compared with the devil. Henry walked restlessly to and fro as Henry was not of acknowledgement to a cigar and liquid, and reasoned in straight to and fro. The doctor, who had seated himself comfortably, began to tell apparently with had keenly sense of diverting the other man as the way how Madeline were full of juice and speculation as to what it had been which she had forgotten. Finally, however, settling down to the consideration that it had something to do with her for college. And Henry refused, refused to deny his specialty to such with the cause she was good, sir. Okay, so many stories of stories from this. Thank you.